Okay, so let's get a pretty good one going here. So this is really standard and something that you, um, I'm sure, are very, very interested in. Um, so I want to find the flux through a uh, cube of some vector field, right? And I've got this vector field here where it's got, um, where it's, where it's got x squared in the x direction and y squared in the z direction. So um, it has no directions in the uh, in the y direction, right? So, like I said, here I've got a one meter cube situated at the um, uh, from the origin here. So that sort of means I've got this cube right here, right? And then I've got some vector field uh, that uh, way he over here at the x-axis is sort of going this way, and then it keeps pointing uh, up that way. So it's sort of shifting out from this direction up towards you as it goes along, right? And that's in the z direction here. So you know, eventually it gets way up there um so i'm just i just want to find the flux of this thing going through the this cube which means going through the um faces so let's see i'm given the cube with side length uh, one meter uh, i'm not sure why i chose one meter instead of a's and b's uh, probably I should go ahead and give this something. Uh, actually, I do have that on my notes. Two kilovolts per meter cubed should be the scaling factor there. And with that, I have this vector field. All right, and I want to find the flux through the cube. So this is the total fl flux phi. Like I said I'm going to have to break this up into six parts, right? One for each face. So first I want to find the normals for each face. Okay, and that's not too difficult because these are outbound normals. So the x component, the x face here that's got the higher x is going to be pointed here, whereas the x face here that's got the lower x is coming out this way, right? So this is this would be n x minus, this is n x plus, and so forth and so on. I can keep on going with all those other ones. Not particularly necessary, you can do that, right? So I have an x minus, that's just going to be in the minus x hat direction, right? And I've got the x plus, that's in the plus x hat direction. Simple enough. Um, and y, again, uh, minus y hat, y hat. Uh, and z, again, minus z hat and z hat. So I just use these directions uh, for whatever it is I'm going to do. And what I'm going to do is just take a bunch of intervals. Um, what sort of interesting things can I note about this without doing the integrals? Well, the first thing is, is that since this is going to be a dot product, right, the flux, so I need to find the flux through the um, surface, the flux phi for each surface is going to be equal to, is this moving or am I just having a bad day? I'm just having a bad day. All right, it's going to be the integral over the area of that surface, right? times the vector, or of, of the vector, times the um, direction of that surface over that surface, right? Um, which means that anywhere that this doesn't have a component, you know, I don't have to do the integral. Where, where it doesn't have a component? Well, it doesn't have, it has no y components. All right, so if it has no y components, I can get rid of these two integrals. That's good. Uh, when x is equal to zero, 
down here, this this guy is equal to zero. This face is also equal to zero. Um, so I have no um, minus x hat component. So this guy's gone too. Uh, this doesn't happen for z because this happens with the y hat or hat goes with y. So there's always some place on here, uh, both of these guys that has both the top and the bottom face that has something to um, go through. However, you might notice that it only has to do with Y and nothing to do with the Z. So this, this face and this face, I do know, um, have to have the exact opposite integral. All right, because uh, this one's going to be this set, this minus sign is going to cancel out this guy. Uh, so the only thing that actually matters is this x my or x plus, right? So I could do the other ones, and you're free to do the other ones if you'd like to. Um, but this is the only one that I really need to do. So I have two kilovolts per meter cubed as my scale um, on this x plus guy here, right? Um, I have in the x direction only x squared, right? So then I have that dy dz, right? x squared is actually one, so I shouldn't have it x squared. I can just put one meter squared there. Okay, so this actually turns out really, really nicely because um, I've got two kilovolts per meter times the integral of uh, dy dz, right? It's, which is just the error of, which is just this, or I can go here, square that. Oh, that's fine, okay. Um, this is just. Um, one square meter, which means I have two kilovolt meters. All right, that's my flux. All right. So, um, and you can go ahead and you can do the integrals for the other ones. They're not really uh, complicated, and you'll find out that you know um, phi y minus is equal to, or phi z minus is equal to something like minus two thirds um, kilovolt meters by z plus is equal to two thirds kilovolt meters. And all these other guys, x minus, y minus, and y plus, they're all equal to zero. So th that's just something for for you. You can, you can verify that if you'd like. Uh, I probably should, but you don't get a lot from seeing me integrate um, whatever those things. You don't need to see me integrate polynomials at this point, right? Um, so what you really care about here is getting an idea of what to do with this flux. And now, since this is a closed surface, I have to add up all of the faces, right? So um, I've got all of these faces, x minus, x plus. Uh, y minus, y plus, and uh, z minus, and z plus by z plus, okay? And that was zero plus two kilovolt meters plus zero, right? Plus zero uh, minus two thirds kilovolt meters plus two thirds kilovolt meters. And that's all equal to two kilovolt meters. Awesome. Don't you love that? I know I know you love that. I, I, I know that just made your day right there. Okay, well, thank you very much. Uh, flux gonna be very important in quantum mechanics, or not quantum mechanics, um, electricity magnetism. You'll get to play with it a lot. I was just working on pro one of your problems this afternoon for, for that class, and yep, got plenty of flux to play with. So, you, you know, um, get a really good idea about what it means, all right? Bye now.